Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great uh, 2023 and this is a video kind of just demonstrating what can be done with chat GPT. For those of you, I know a lot of you have been with family and friends and some of you aren't into a lot of this technology and uh, I don't blame you, but there's been a lot of buzz on the last month or two about this tool, this artificial intelligence tool called chat GPT. So I'm not going to go into exactly what it is or the history of it. I'm going to show you how just a couple of scenarios on how I use it and how you can use it because it's a free tool. So um, you would just log in to chat GPT and, uh, you know, using your Google credentials. And I want you to think about chat GPT as if you had your own personal research assistant and um, think of Siri and Alexa, right? So it would be like, you know, hey, Siri, you know, please help me research what companies are hiring for C++ or, you know, whatever it may be while you're sourcing and recruiting. And, uh, and I'm still learning and there's a lot of, of ways to use this. Um, um, and so this is just kind of like getting everyone up to speed on it. Now, there are some limitations that are, that, that are here on the site. Um, it's got limited knowledge of uh, events after 2021. Um, and it may, it may, you know, it's not perfect, right? So nothing is perfect like all technology. But instead of Googling something next time, make a free account with ChatGPT and, and see what it does. So this is, this is what you're going to, there's a prompt down here, right? And this is how you're going to interface with ChatGPT computer, right? Just think about it as if you're, you're typing to Siri. And so here are some things that, that I've done, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So... I cut and paste a job description, right? And then I ask, um, and I did this backwards, but whatever. Um, you just say, you know, please, because these are robots and one day they may uh, take over the world. So you want to be nice to them. Please explain um, and summarize the following job description. So I'm giving it instructions. And I've just cut and paste this job description in here, okay? So I've cut and paste job description. I've told it to please explain, and I hit go. And as you can see, I think this is amazing. This is the chat uh, GPT computer kind of reading it, summarizing it, um, and you just sit there. And once it's done, you just kind of cut and paste it, right? So... I just asked it to summarize this long job description, right? You could use this in an email. You can use this to learn about a job, right? Now, let's, let's, let's be real here and let's use it. You know, this is how I've been using it. So now I'm going to say, okay, what about, oh, let me stop here. So the one cool thing about chat GPT is that everything we're typing, think of it as an open document or an open email, it remembers what we've typed. So now if I want to keep asking this computer questions about the job description, I don't necessarily have to cut and paste it every time. The computer is going to learn, oh, we're, you know, we're talking about the same thing. We're still talking about the same topic, right? So now I'm going to ask it to please extract the keywords from the above job description. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's just typing on its own. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, this could save you a lot of time. I know I've tried to teach this over and over. Again, like when you're looking at a job description, you know, what are the nouns and, you know, what are the key words that you need? And so I've just asked my friend, chat GPT, to do it for me. Okay. Now I'm going to let it finish. And if some of you um, are like, wow, this it, it is very cool, right? Because this is not Google. You know, you, you could, you can't really Google this. You'd have to use some kind of tool. Right. So anyway, so here's some keywords. Right now, that's a lot of keywords. And so I'm going to ask it to please group or classify the above keywords. And then I'm going to see what it does. It's thinking. And remember, right now, they are experiencing a huge demand. So sometimes it just. Oh, here it is. OK, job focus. 
programming languages. So it's 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 reading what I've I've given it, and it's going to do its best to try to categorize it. Okay, here are the languages. Here are the skills and areas of expertise. So now when you're building your search strings, um, you know you can kind of it just kind of helps you. And and, and um, I love doing this kind of work, but wow, isn't it nice to kind of have? Um, I love starting from an existing document. To me, it can be kind of daunting to start with a blank screen. So right now, um, I can kind of, I can kind of look at that. I went from job description. Hey, kind of summarize it so I can learn about it. Hey, give me the keywords, right? And then categorize these keywords for me. Um, and then what are some of the things I can do? I've asked it to please generate job interview questions for this job description. And I'm thinking more of a phone screen or maybe how to add some screening questions on my on my ATS um, because maybe I don't work on this job all the time. So let's see what it says. And this is real time. Here are some potential job interview questions. And you can read it for yourself. I think this is pretty cool. Now, keep in mind, this is not gonna go out and solve everything, but isn't this nice when you're working alone, maybe you don't have a, a someone next to you or you don't wanna bother someone. It just, it's literally writing interview you know, questions. Like I love number five, you know, what tools and instrumentation have you used to monitor and report product performance? How do you decide which tools? I mean, this is pretty cool. Think of all the documents that we use saved in, in you know, docs files or whatever it is, like, hey, I need some interview questions. And we use these same things over and over again. So this is kind of cool. So um, yeah, as you can see, not bad, right? And then I'm gonna try this. This is not, this. I didn't practice this before, but let's see. Um, I'm gonna type one more thing and this will be the end of this video. I'm gonna say, um, please create a Boolean search string of the above keywords. And let's see what it does. Here's a Boolean search. This is it typing live. It's so cool. I mean, look at this. Um, some of you are going to get very excited. Others are going to be like, dude, this is stupid. But um, it's at least it gives you a great starting point. Now, caveat. Before I'm going to go and turn this in as my work, run it through spell checker, run it through Grammarly, um, you know, look at it and, and test it all out. But isn't this cool? Anyway, I hope you can see the, uh, you know, just an example of, of what can be done. Look at this thing. It's still building the Boolean search string. Um, one more. I'll show you one more topic because you can use this in your personal life, too. I typed in. Um, I typed in, write a book summary on the book E-Myth by Michael Gerber. And it just went, boop, there's your book summary. You know, and, and I'm working on a book about core values. Um, and so I wanted to, uh, core values and culture matching. And so I wanted to just like, there, these are these books. I don't have time to read them. So I just ask it, give me a summary. And it does. And that's pretty cool. So just think of it as, like I said, instead of using Google or just wondering, try out uh, Jat. A chat GPT. Okay, let me know what you think and uh, have a great week.